guys, Jessica here with French Farmhouse Flair, and today I just wanted to share with you the things that I got at the City Farmhouse Pop-Up Fair. It was so much fun to go to this um, fair, and I just wanted to share with you my pictures that I took while I was there and also the things that I purchased while there. And this is the... Um, the same city farmhouse show that is also in Nashville and in other states. Um, so if you live by Nashville, that uh, would be a great show to go to. I went to the one that was local to me here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And um, so let's go ahead and get started. And I'll shoot the first thing I want to share with you is this really cute um, Demi John bottle that I got for 29 and these folks were from um, Indiana. So there's people there set up from all over. And then I got this as well. And I was trying to look this up online to figure out exactly what it was. And I paid 20 for this. And um, I was looking online and I found one on eBay that was um, looked just like this one. And it said that it was um, a French uh, wood traditional hand grain sieve, uh, like a sifter. And so it said it was an antique um, sifter. So I thought that was really neat. And so if anybody knows anything more about this, let me know. But I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And so I thought that was an interesting um looks these two items look very French country to me so that's what I loved about those and then the next items I purchased were from uh, Carolyn Westbrook from Texas and she had lots of these French style books that she had written and it was so hard to choose just one <laughs> and so her books were $30 and um, also um, they she had these uh, really cute French um, bonjour and au revoir glasses. So um, hello and goodbye in French. So I had to get those. You guys you know I love anything French. And these were $4.95 each. And I thought how cute would they be to also just use these to put a candle in instead of using them as a glass, a drinking glass. So um, I might be doing a DIY coming up with those and turning them into more of a candle holder. Um, so you have to wait to see what I end up doing with those. And um, I wish that um, I would have gotten a picture with Carolyn um, while I was there. I didn't even think about it, but she did write inside of my book for me. And so I love that, that she did that for me. And it's a beautiful book with beautiful pictures. And um, I would have loved to have had a picture to insert in this video for you guys of her and I together. And I just didn't even think about it. So I'm sorry about that. Um, I also got these cute little clock faces that I know I'm gonna do something with these as well. And so I have a purpose in mind for these and they were $2 each. And then I got, um, these copper items from uh, Rescued Revisions, and he is a local shop owner, and um, I was so happy to see him there in uh, Rivers, and um, loved, I actually bought the most from him, and uh, just loved all his copper items, because you guys know I'm getting into the copper thing here lately so much, ever since I went to the Paris Flea Market and saw all the copper there and just really think that it would get give my home a more of a French country, French farmhouse feel. So I'm loving these items. I got this copper pot here for um, the copper tea kettle for $28. And, um, and then I got the copper little strainer here and I love this one because it's got the little feet on here. So cute. And I don't care that it's tarnished because I really like the more weathered look of the copper versus the real shiny anyway. So it's perfect. And I got that for $12. 
And then the next item I thought looked very farmhousey and reminded myself and Rivers of like a milk can. So it looked very farmhouse to both of us. And so I really liked that and I got that for 20. And then the next item were the salt and pepper shakers. And I got those for 12. So really loving the copper here lately, guys, like I said. And then the next item I got was from um, a different gentleman. I can't remember where he was from, but he had a lot of these cowbells and not all of them had the leather strap. So I really liked this one. It was different with the leather strap on it. And I just thought that was very farmhousey and I loved, loved the cowbell. So I got that, picked that up for 20. And so those were all the items that I got while I was there. I had a lot of fun and there was so many goodies um, there that uh, I would have also liked to have brought home. There was uh, so much to see and I hope you guys enjoyed what I did bring home to share with you. And until the next time, guys, we'll see you uh, in the next video. All right. Bye-bye.